In today's video, it's a scratch and dispatch, scrape and escape, scuff and get rough. Basically, we got an adventure challenge date book for Christmas, and until we view the first clue, we have no idea what we're to do. So let's take a rub and hope for a pub. Hello and welcome to Postcard in a Bind. I'm Rachel. I'm Wills. Now let's show you how this bad boy works. Ah, the adventure challenge. Firstly, the rules. Basically, once you scratch a date, you have to do it. There are little symbols to give you some clues. Meals and snacks, yes please. Snacks, indoors, shopping. Nope. Car, babysitter, film it. Sounds dodgy. There are also these useless discs to scratch with. Top tip, ditch them, use a coin. So what did you choose? We've chosen number 32, roll the dice. Right, what we got here? Got a snack symbol, get some snacks. Ooh. Got a car, need to take the car. Got a baby symbol, which means you don't need a babysitter, which is good, so I've got a baby. And it's got a tree, which means it's outdoors. Let's scratch. As said previously, plastic tiddlywinks make for a shoddy scratcher. Right, what we got here then? Ooh, it's gonna involve a dice, a picnic, and the car. Interesting. I feel this needs to be Britishified. That'll do it. Basically, pick six foods, give them each a number, and roll the dice three times. Here it goes, January's picnic, number one. Number one, that's a ham and cheese sandwich. It's going well. That's number four, pork pies. Mm. Classy picnic. I don't believe it. And that's number two, crisps. Perfect. How jammy is that? That was not fixed, but somehow Wills has ended up with his perfect picnic. Ham and cheese sandwich, pork pie and crisps. I love crisps, me. So let's check for Britishness. Weather, check. Tesco's, check. Come on. Tiger bread, Wills' favourite. Crisps, the food of gods. Two packs, lad. Bit of cheese. Posh ham. And pork pies, this is downright dirty. A quick time-lapse assembly. Load it all into Col in the cool box and you're ready to go. Picnic packed, it's temporarily stopped raining. Let's go. As we live in rural Wales, if we rolled the dice at every junction for 10 junctions, we'd probably end up about five minutes from home. So we changed the rules. We drive 20 minutes away from home and roll after every 80s tune or at a junction where we had to make a decision. Very British. Right, we're ready to start the game. We've come about 20 minutes away from home. We've gone up the country lanes. I'm going to roll. The tune is Human League, Don't You Want Me Baby? Let's see what our first direction is. It's a bit of Human League and that's a five. So it's straight on. Ah, the back lanes at Tremurchian. I feel a woodland picnic coming on. There's a surprise on Wills' iPhone. Shaking Stevens, come on, old Julie. But new tune, roll the dice, that's straight on again. Just to clarify, one and two is right, three and four is left, and five and six is straight on. Just hit a T junction. Next song's just come on. Uh, so we're quickly going to uh, roll the dice. It's a three. What's that? Three is left. Left. Right. That way we go. So with Eye of the Tiger ringing loud and proud, left we went. New tune. OK, it's now madness in our house. Tune. Here we go. Straight on it is. Where are you taking us, Mr Dice? OK, it's now I'm All You Need by Samantha Fox. So let's shake. And that'll be a right. Ah, Samantha Fox. Will used to fancy her back in the 80s. Hmm, that turned out well. OK, right, we're now on Sweet Dreams by the Eurythmics. Tune. Um, we shake again. Straight on again? We will surely be heading towards the coast. Did that say Abigaily and... Rill, you've got to be kidding me. OK, so we've got two rolls left. I can't believe we're in Rill of all places. Rock Me Amadeus by Falco is the uh, tune, so let's give it a go. Anything but straight on. You are having a laugh. OK, new song, Starship, We Built This City. What a good, what good tunes we've been having. Yeah. Here we go. Make it a left, make it a left. It's a right. To the seafront in Rill we go. Champion. OK, we've got one shake left. The song hasn't finished yet, but we have to go left or right at the top of this road. So, let's roll. Left? Of course not. It looks like it's going to be a picnic on the beach in Rill. Oh, the irony. Can you believe we'd end up here in Rill? Never in my head did I ever think we'd end up here. We're finishing with Glen Medeiros. We've parked in a theatre because we know the car's going to be safe. And our picnic is going to be on the beach. In my hey. head, we were going to be by a little river stream in the Welsh mountains, in a forest. No, we're in Rill again. It calls us. Come on, let's have a picnic. 
Although, in the Costa del Rill's defence, it had stopped raining and for once wasn't windy. We set up camp, unpacked Colin and admired the sea views. Mm, yep, it's still brown. Good picnic though. And for anyone wanting to try this, we can vouch that a picnic on the beach in January, in Rill, is a very popular thing to do. Not. Yes, people will be the least of your worries, but the real massive, however, made up of him and his thieving mates are another story. Don't you give me that. Don't you give me that. They did slowly surround us, but this is crisps and pork pies we're talking about. Wills won't be giving those up without a fight. They didn't seem bothered by the drone either, but if you've seen our second drill video, that's of no surprise, as they're used to taking on the red arrows. There's nothing like a picnic on the beach in Rill in January. Walk by, Wills. Don't mind if I do. That's Wills 1, Seagulls nil. Oh, actually, make that Wills nil, half wit. With our thermals on, seagulls at bay, and lack of wind, it was time for more drone practice. Impressive. Now tell me, Wills, does the sea look less brown from above? Uh, no. God love Rill and its brown sea. Oh, that's better. That's quite a nice shot. It doesn't matter how fast you fly it, love. It's still brown. Right, enough of this malarkey. It's time to pack up. Thanks, Gladys the Gull Chasing Greyhound. They're all gone. And thanks to Colin the Cool Box. Well, that was a lovely picnic in January on the beach. And all those of you who watched me in Germany freeze my head off. My new Christmas present, my bobblet, is keeping my head lovely and warm. We're going to try and find a coffee to warm up and a wee. A wee was found at the Kite Surf Cafe. Go on, you know you want to be on YouTube. All right then, just your sexy legs it is. Happy face! Ooh, no ice cream today though, too cold. It's a hot jockey kind of day. Now you can walk your dog along the beach like that. Or you can walk your dog along the prom, like that. Or you can walk your dog the real way. Go on, Barry. Now we'd heard a very exciting and cultural thing had happened in Rill last week. And no, it wasn't Bobby Davro live at the pavilion. It was more exciting than that. So we went in search. We looked up there. It wasn't up there. We looked around there and then found it. But what is it? A week or so ago, this piece of art popped up in Rill on the seawall and everyone got dead excited and thought, oh, it's a Banksy. Oddly enough, Banksy doesn't tend to come to Rill and draw pictures. Anyway, a London artist claims it. He's from North Wales and he drew it and it is actually rather lovely. Take a look. Banksy, if you're watching, you're missing a trick here. You could draw a squash seagull on the wall and folks would think it was a masterpiece. Right, let's take a stroll. Oh, we're enjoying a lovely walk down the front. Everything's closed. That's the fish cabin just next to us where we got our sclods from. There. Oh, 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 oh. There. In the summer, sclods for all you uh, English speakers. Chips. Chips. <laughs> and plus gods. Fish. fish. Um, yeah, and it's a gorgeous, bracing January walk now. There's more dog walking. You're missing your scooter, love. Oh, she's got a pram for hers. It was great to get some fresh sea air, even if it was real. And then Stan the Seagull gave us a little tap dance. Cheers, lad. Careful. Oh no, I know what she's seen. It's a bloody arcade, isn't it? Ugh, in you go then. Have you ever seen anyone so happy to have found the Toopy Falls? Tragic. Now some cash, if you please. Right, let me at them. I'm going to stick with my two-handed technique. I'm bound to win a key ring today. Going well, then. Hmm, plenty of two peas, but no key ring. Keeps her entertained, though. Bless. I kept on trying, but I'm sad to say today was not a key ring day. Sad times, but I'd had fun. Time to walk along the seafront to the car. But wait, what's that? 
Uh, excuse me, you're going the wrong way. Oh. Now this looks more upbeat. They've got Elvis machines and everything. Right, let me at them. This is it. I can feel it. <gasps> Be still, my beating heart. I won two peas. I wanted to win the 80s magnet or the camper van key ring, but it wasn't to be. But enough of arcades today. Let's walk up the rill and find the car. What an absolutely top day. Roll the dice, there we are in rill. Picnic on the beach, walk down the front, play in the arcades. Can't get better than that. Let's cut back now for a bit of cheers for the good times. I'm gonna correct you there. You can get better than that. Maybe somewhere where the sea is blue and you win an 80s magnet. Rill, there's something about you that keeps on calling us back, even when we have no intention of visiting. But I've got to say, that was, well, fun. What a totally brilliant day, completely unexpected. I thought we'd be down some bank by a river in a forest. But we're not, we're in Rill. We are obviously inexplicably drawn to Rill, even by the roll of the dice. But you know what? It was brilliant. We were the only people on a chair, deck chair on a beach, having a picnic. Fab, wasn't it? Everyone else was uh, walking their dogs, but we got some great drone footage. Yep. And yeah, we've explored around real lovely art. But the whole thing being fun, yeah, the whole scratching the book. Yeah, it's been so much fun, and it won't be the last one of these we do. We'll do some more, not yeah. all the time. But... And we will always Britishify them, because it's an American book. Yeah, so that's we'll true. We'll Britishify them as they go. Absolutely. So uh, if you've enjoyed this one, we're going to link another video for you below. We're going to link Lingeri on it, because that's that was where one. Colin the Cool Box got his very first outing. Ah, uh, yeah. Yes. And he's done champion today as well. As indeed. So if you'd like this video, we'd be really happy. And if you could subscribe, that would be ace. Leave a comment, yeah. all that sort of stuff. And all that's left to say is... Cheers, cheers to, to the, the good, good times! times. <laughs> We've seen a lot of dogs today, but have you heard about the dog that walked into the flea circus? No. Nope. He stole the show! Ah.